Hi, my name is Eva, and thank you for joining us for this week's Hill TV episode. If it's happening at Hill, we have it. Let's find out what's cooking in the kitchen next week. The menu looks fantastic for next week. On Monday, there will be chicken smackers with mini pretzel. On Tuesday, we will have Italian cheesy pull-apart with sauce. Wednesday is pizza day with either cheese or pepperoni pizza. Thursday is pasta with meatballs or plain sauce. Finally, on Friday, the cafeteria will be serving pizza crunchers with sauce or breaded fish sandwich. Sounds like a lot of great choices. Remember that you can always choose salad, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or a yogurt plate any day if you don't like the option. Sophia here with the week's weather. On Monday the 21st, it will be a high of 52 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. On Tuesday the 22nd, it will be a low of 44 and a high of 53 degrees. On Wednesday the 23rd, there will be a chance of rain and a high of 54 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. On the 24th, it will be a high of 45 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. On Friday, it will be a high of 44 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. Wow, seems like it will be a spring-like week. Now on to Catherine with some news about the Gaga Pit. Catherine, here with some exciting student council news. If you haven't heard, the Hill School has been trying to get a Gaga Ball Pit, and that's and it's been approved three times, but has never been ordered. A former cu- custodian, Mrs. Doty, donated the money to purchase her pit. She was a long, long-time long custodian at Brockport who loved working for kids. Sadly, she lost her battle with cancer a few years ago, and but donated some money to the Hill School to do something fun for their students. We have been working on trying to find the right way to honor her donation. We have finally received approval to purchase the pit, and it has been ordered. The pit will be placed between the basketball court and the playground. We are hopefully going to put Mrs. Doty's name on it, something to look forward to at the Hill School. Now let's hear about an important woman in history. In honor of Women's History Month, we are highlighting Sally Ride. Sally was the first woman in space after beating out 1,000 applicants to join the space program. She went through the difficult astronaut training and got her chance to go into space and the record books in 1983. She was a mission specialist and helped to launch a satellite. After NASA in 2001, she started her own company to create education programs and products known as Sally Ride Science to help inspire girls and young women to pursue their interests in science and math. Now let's hear about someone that also came over out some obstacles. This week for an important person to know is Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman. If you watch the new Spider-Man movie, she played as MJ. She also played in other movies like The Greatest Showman and more. In her past, she struggled with bad anxiety and she still battles anxiety. It started when she was taking a test at school. She remembered panicking and her teacher had to walk her out of the room to calm her down. Then she learned a strategy to help. For her, it helps to step away from the thing that starts her anxiety. Instead of putting herself back out there on the stage, Zendaya focused on other things and took a little break from live performances. Even though she still has anxiety, she now knows how to work through it. I'm sure some of you have some anxiety at times, so think about taking those deep breaths and finding out a strategy that helps to calm you down. Now onto this week's Student Spotlight. This week we have two students that we would like to spotlight. Our, spotlight. our first student is Sophia Semchek from Mrs. Borg's room. Mrs. Borg says that Sophia is a really hard worker and has a great attitude every day. She is always happy, always smiling, and is kind to all of her classmates. Sophia is friends with everyone and is a great helper around the classroom. Sounds like Sophia is someone that you can count on to be a great friend. Our second student we would like to spotlight is Cameron Barber from Mr. Alvett's class. According to Mr. Alvett, he is incredibly hardworking and follows all of Hill School expectations. He is always willing to help other students in and out of class. When things get challenging in class, Cameron perseveres and has a growth mindset to keep working until he gets it. He refuses to give up or think that he can't do something. Plus, he is a big Bills fan. Fantastic work, Sophia and Cameron. Way to be great Hawks. Now, let's go to the hallway near you to for this week's This or That. Allie here with another This or That. I have Elizabeth here with us. Ready to pick? Okay, here we go. Hydro flask or Yeti? Hydro flask. Barefoot or shoes? Shoes. Pop it or monkey noodle? Pop 
top it. Summer heat or wintry snow? Summer heat. Last one for this week. Country or city? City. Now back to Evo with a joke to finish off this week's episode. Thanks, Sally. We have one joke to close the show. What is your name? September. All right, September. Here's the joke. What is brown and sticky? Hmm, I don't know. A stick. (laughs) Thanks for watching and have a great day.